Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. In our last training video, we discussed the differences between agency billing and direct bill. Today, let's give a quick recap on what is meant by agency bill because that's a very important thing that you need to understand before coming to this topic. Agency bill is a process where an insurance company works with only the broker or a producer to collect payments instead of working directly with the customer. In turn, the broker or the producer works with the customer, collect the payment and submits the net payment to the insurance company. So this is the basic definition where between the customer and the insurance company, we have a broker who handles the payments. Now there are two major approaches when it comes to agency billing. That is what we are going to talk today. One is called statement bill. The second one is called account current. Pretty much the same concept. The only difference is when it comes to statement bill, we send the invoice in terms of statement and collect the payment. And after collecting the payment, if there are any discrepancy between what we expected versus what we got from the broker, we handle it accordingly after collecting the payments. Whereas in account current, it is a little bit different where before even collecting the payment, we get something like promise, which is nothing but a broker telling the insurance company, I have 10 policies with you and the total payment is $8,000 for 10 customers. This is the amount that I'm going to pay in a month or so. They'll send us a promise and we will use that promise for doing this payment reconciliation. Whereas in statement bill, we use the actual payment to do the payment reconciliation. Let's see the steps, right? If you take statement bill, as I told you, it's actually revolves around the statement. Statement bill is nothing but an invoice, right? Like if you have a direct bill, you send an invoice to customer because of the fact it's a one-to-one -one mapping where you have an insurance company and the insurance company works only with one customer, right? But whereas in statement bill, <coughs> because of the fact an agency can have 20 to 30 customers with him, the statement bill will have invoices for multiple customers. So, and most of the time it's monthly once occurrence wise. So, monthly once the insurance company sends a statement to the broker. That's step number one in statement bill. Second thing is once they send it, broker sends the net payment. In our last training, we discussed net is nothing but the overall invoice amount minus the commission. The broker takes a commission if it's 15% or 20% and then the remaining net payment will be sent back to the insurance company. Now the insurance company allocates the received payments to the different policies in the statement. As I told you, a broker can have 10 to 15 policies or more than that. It is very important the insurance company takes the payment received from the broker and applies that payment accordingly to different policies within the account either manually or through some automation process. The final step is insurance company works with the broker to resolve any payment discrepancies because it's not like one-to-one -one mapping where I have one customer when one insurance company. It's like one insurance company handling payments from multiple customers through broker. So it is very highly possible that say if the insurance company is expecting 25,000 payment for a 10 customer, whereas the broker sent you only 21,000. So there's a discrepancy of $4,000. So once after applying the payments, whatever the discrepancies the insurance company is seeing, they will work directly with the broker to handle that discrepancy. That's how the statement bill works. And when it comes to account current, most of the steps are similar, except the fact that the payment discrepancies are handled before the payments are submitted. If you see the steps, the insurance company creates a statement, but do not send it to the broker. That's a major difference. Whereas if you see statement bill, the insurance company sends the actual statement or invoice to the broker. Here the insurance company never sends a statement to the broker. And then the broker sends a kind of promise saying that, okay, you know what? I have $25,000 payment that I'm going to send it to you in a month or so. So they send something like promise. Based on the promise, they allocate, they take the whatever the charges that are documented in the promise statement and then applies to the overall, no, policies in that particular agent account. Now, after applying, say the insurance company is expecting 25,000, but the promise says only 21,000, that 4,000 discrepancies will be worked upon between the insurance company and the broker in this step. 
and once that discrepancy is taken care after a week or so when they receive the actual payment they apply that based on the promise so the benefit here is before even kind of applying the payment you are resolving all your discrepancies and then you are trying to apply it whereas here you are getting the actual payment you are applying it and you are seeing the discrepancies and then trying to work with the broker to handle the discrepancies that's a pretty much difference again both as advantages and disadvantages it all depends on what the agent's expectations are so i can have agents who are under account current where they can send a promise and use insurance companies can use those promises or i can have agents under statement bill where the agents can send the payments based on the statement they received and then the discrepancies can be addressed i hope you like my training videos if you like my training videos please do subscribe to my youtube channel have a great day bye bye